The Valve Steam Deck comes pre-installed with SteamOS, a lightweight Linux-based operating system created in-house that lets you run games natively through Steam. But maybe you don't like Linux, or there's a game you want to play that requires Windows, or you're just a masochist and want to install a bloated OS to your Steam Deck. Well, you can install Windows 10 to the Steam Deck pretty painlessly. Let's go over whether you should even install Windows, and then I'll go over step-by-step -step how to achieve it. When you install Windows on your Steam Deck, or any other PC for that matter, you're going to need to activate it to unlock all the settings. Why spend a ton of money for a code when you can use the sponsor of today's video, SCD Key? You can purchase Windows keys at a large discount, and to get 25% off your order, use code JASON, that's J-A-S-O-N, to get 25% off your order. After purchasing, you'll get your code pretty much instantly and be able to unlock your computer's full potential. And remember that all Windows 10 Pro users can upgrade to Windows 11 for free at any time in the future using these keys. Just take your code, go to your Windows activation menu, pop it in, and boom. Windows is activated, and you should be on your way. Thanks to SCD Key. Hey there, my name is Jason. And while Windows on the Steam Deck is technically provided by Valve, since they are the ones who provided the drivers, if you end up having any issues, Daddy Gaben won't be there to help you. It's not like this is going to break your device or anything, just know that it isn't as straightforward as running the native Steam OS. There are a few ways to install Windows, but this video will show how to dual boot it onto a microSD card specifically. This means you can choose between Steam OS and Windows on boot up and not lose any of your save games. This is a great method if you have a smaller SSD and don't want to put two operating systems on it. You can simply pop in your microSD card whenever you want to use Windows, or leave it in there all the time for a constant dual boot. To get started, if you do have a small SSD and want to upgrade, or need to purchase a new microSD card, I have links in the description to my favorite ones available on Amazon. They have been tested and confirmed to work perfectly on your Steam Deck. And if you are looking to upgrade your SSD yourself, you can view this guide here where I go over the entire process step by step. If your main PC doesn't have an SD card reader, you'll need to get one. It's about 5 bucks on Amazon, so I'll drop a link to that as well. I recommend plugging a USB hub into your Steam Deck and using a mouse and keyboard for this installation, as there's going to be a lot of setup that would otherwise be a little annoying. Hey, welcome people who skipped over the intro, glad you're here. Let's go ahead and get started. We are starting on your Windows PC, and make sure your microSD card is plugged into it, either with a USB reader or directly into your computer. The microSD card is going to get wiped completely, so make sure you move off any important data. First up, we need to download the Microsoft ISO image first. So click the link in the description that is entitled Windows 10 installation file, and it will bring you to this page. Locate the Create Windows 10 installation media option and press Download Now. It will default to your downloads folder. While we're still in the browser, we need to download a free software called Rufus, which is the software that will help us transfer the Windows ISO file to our micro SD card. So in the description, click the link Rufus Download. And once the page is open, Scroll down past the download banner and click whatever is the most recent standard download. This will also default to your downloads folder. Now let's go over to our Rufus file and get it ran. Just hit yes twice, and then you can just leave it open at this screen right now. Let's go over to that Windows file we downloaded and double click it. Launch the media creation tool and accept the terms. Then we want to select create installation media and hit next. Make sure the addition is Windows 10 and hit next. Here, we want to hit ISO file. This is going to download just a raw file that has Windows on it. Hit next. It's going to ask you to save it somewhere. Feel free to just put it on the desktop for now and hit save. Now, it might take a while to download the file depending on your internet speed, but for me, it was just a few minutes. Once you see the screen that says complete, you can hit finish to close this window. Next up, we can navigate over to our Rufus window. Please remember to have your micro SD card inserted to your PC. Under device, this should probably be the SD card manufacturer name and the size of the micro SD card. If you have other external devices like hard drives or flash drives connected to your PC, please make sure this is your micro SD card selected and not one of those. Under the boot selection tab, choose the select button. We're going to find the Windows file that we downloaded earlier. Remember, I put mine on my desktop. Under Image option, in the drop-down menu, choose Windows to go. Then, we can go down and click the Start button. A new window will come up asking about which Windows edition you want. For this tutorial, we can choose Windows 10 Pro. In this next window, you don't need to have any of these checked. Then click OK to begin the installation process. You'll get one final warning to make sure that you are using the correct microSD card, so please double-check you have the right device selected. 
Now this process might take upwards of an hour. So just be patient, go take a nap or eat a Lunchable or whatever it is you do. And just a quick note about this Windows installation, it will be unactivated and you won't be able to access the full spectrum of all the Windows settings. So for most people, I recommend just getting a Windows key for just a few bucks from this video's sponsor. Links in the description. While we wait for the installation to finish, we need to download some additional drivers for this Windows install. Valve provides these drivers for you to use free of charge and will help our Windows install actually be worthwhile, like having audio, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth available. Head to Valve's website. The link is in the description under Valve Drivers Download. And we are going to see six different links on this page. We need to download each of them one by one. So just go through and save all of them to your downloads folder. Don't worry, they aren't that big, but they are incredibly crucial. One by one, we need to double click each of these zip files and drag and drop the folder inside to the desktop until you have six folders that have been extracted. Once your micro SD card is done being prepared, you should see this page that says complete and you can close out Rufus. In our Windows Explorer, you should be able to see the Windows micro SD card we created. It will probably be called ESD underscore ISO. We need to get our drivers on there. So let's go back to where we extracted all of those drivers. Highlight the six folders, right click, and hit copy. Then we're going to hover over the ESD ISO drive, right click on it, and hit paste. Once that is done, we are done on the PC and you can move over to your Steam Deck. Right click your micro SD card and click eject. Go ahead and remove the micro SD card from your PC and insert it into your Steam Deck. But power down the Steam Deck first, of course. Press the Steam button, go down to power, and select shut down. Once the Steam Deck is fully powered down, we need to boot it into the Steam boot screen. Hold down the volume down button and power button on your Steam Deck until you hear a chime. Then you can release. After a moment, you should make it to this screen. This is the Steam Deck Boot Manager. Select the micro SD card you created from the list of boot options. It will probably be called something like EFI SD MMC. Press A to select it. The Steam Deck will reboot from the micro SD card now and enter the Windows setup. But here's the thing, everything is going to be vertical now. So be prepared to turn your head or the Steam Deck during setup. Don't worry, this will get fixed later. Now starts the Windows install, which is pretty straightforward. Just keep hitting next, be sure to do limited setup, enter your name, a password if you want. After a few minutes, you'll finally be at the Windows desktop. Just a few more things to do, then you'll be on your way. Right click the desktop and go down to display settings. Scroll down and where it says display orientation, we want to change this to landscape. This will fix your screen finally. Now we need to install our drivers. Launch the file explorer by clicking this folder on your taskbar. Then we need to click this PC and then select the micro SD card we inserted. Let's move all six of these folders to the desktop. One by one, we need to install these drivers, but luckily it's pretty simple. Let's start with the Wi-Fi driver, the folder that begins with RTLWLAN. Open the folder and click the setup button and complete the installation. Once complete, you should be able to connect to your Wi-Fi as you normally would. So go ahead and do that. Then we can do the Bluetooth driver. This is in the folder that has the word blue in it. Double click install driver and let it run the script to install it. Next is the SD card reader driver. This will be the folder that has the letters SD in it. You can simply run setup and go through the installation. Now there are two audio drivers that need to be installed. First up is the one that starts with CS. Enter the folder, find the setup information file, right click and select install. Then again, for the second audio driver that starts with NAU. Enter the folder, locate the setup information file, right click and select install. Last but not least is finally the graphics driver. The folder labeled GFX will have a file called setup that will run you through the install. Once it completes, go ahead and restart your Steam Deck. Once you're booted back in, you're pretty much done. Just start doing your Windows updates and then you're good to start using your device as you normally would. Congratulations, you now have Windows running on your Steam Deck's micro SD card. I hope this guide was easy for you to follow. And if it brought value to you, please like the video and consider subscribing for more Steam Deck content. My name is Jason. Thanks for watching.